Ukraine is paying a high price for minimal advance as Russia is decimating their attacks. It's day 865 of Russia's operation in Ukraine. Let's dive deeper. Starting from the northern front here, situation has become very intense. As we all know, Ukraine has been counterattacking longer than Russia. But until now, they were not able to significantly push Russians back. In one of my previous reports, I told you how. Ukrainian forces were sending in more reinforcements to this area, even when they already outnumbered Russians many times and also said Russian sources are expecting intensity to become extremely high in coming days and it seems like the day has come it is reported that after the arrival of additional troops Ukrainian forces have launched a big push on Habak but as Russians while defending are utilizing the houses incredibly well so Ukrainians this time went for this gap and it worked as they were able to take this area under their control their presence was confirmed as Russian. Artillery was seen shelling this area however this is not the end of the battle Ukrainian forces will have to maintain the foothold otherwise it is a very difficult situation to be in the to do this Ukrainians will push along this road and try to force Russians out of this area for this they were already seen targeting Russian supplies along this road Russian sources say Ukrainian have increased their attacks in the dark this does suggest that some of the elite brigades are performing these. Storming operations, however, it will not be easy for Ukrainian forces, as Russia's 155th Brigade along with aviation is shelling the Ukrainian positions non-stop. In fact, Russian sources have shared rumors that the number of Ukrainian soldiers going missing around this front has increased. Many believe that Ukraine has a different political objective for these counterattacks. They say they want to push Russians completely back from these two areas and show their Western partners they can still push the Russians back and strengthen their trust. However, as usual, this type of thing is hard to verify as we will never know their true political goals. So I suggest considering it as a rumor. However, one thing is very concerning for Ukraine. Russian sources claim Ukrainian forces and counterattacks lose 20 soldiers out of 50 and this is in one area alone if this is true then ukraine is paying a heavy price and keep in mind russia has yet not deployed more soldiers to this front however as they also do not want to lose captured areas so to keep ukraine on their toes they have increased their activity around sum in the last 24 hours russian sources have reported several areas where their drgs have crossed the borders however drgs advancements are quite hard to track as they have different objectives, but it seems like they want to divert Ukraine's attention and relieve some of the pressure from Lipsy and Vavchansk. As Russia has many troops near the northern border, they might cross the border if the situation demands, so the coming days might be very intense. Now, quickly moving to Sperny here, Russian forces recently shared a video in which we can see them raising their flag in the village, thus visually confirming the capture. I remind you the village has been captured by Russian forces for the past couple of days. Subscribe for more frontline updates. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below.